There are four crucial questions that every financial advisor must answer if they want to grow their business. If you can answer these four questions, you're going to be able to increase your value as an advisor and you're going to be able to clarify your message. You'll be able to more effectively communicate your message to prospects so that they'll actually want to work with you. So answering these four questions is the first step to creating your own sales system really that consistently attracts new people to you. If you don't answer these four, it's going to be a lot harder to grow your practice and your business. But first, welcome back to the channel. If I haven't met you yet, I'm Dave Zoller. My business partner, Tim, and I run Streamline Financial, a wealth management firm in the Chicago suburbs. And we started this channel just for advisors so that we could share some of the things that is working on our journey as we grow our own firm. So if you're an advisor and you're always trying to improve yourself, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss future videos. So the first question we must answer is probably one that every advisor has heard before, but very few answer it in a specific way. And that is, who's your ideal client? When advisors think about their business and how they help people, they tend to think about the services that they provide. Things like the type of planning that they offer, the investments or products that they use for clients, the process that they walk clients through and things like that. But we rarely focus on defining who we serve. The financial advisors that survive and thrive over the long term, they don't define it by their investment selection or products that they sell or their process or credentials or years of experience and all that. The most successful advisors define their entire business not by what they offer, but by who they serve. They know exactly who their ideal client is. The second question to answer is, what value do you provide? You undoubtedly provide a lot of great advice to your clients, but what do your clients value the most? What's the most important thing to them? Do they care about your investment selection and products and process and all of that. Well, I'm sure that they do, but there's actually only one thing that your clients really value above all the rest of that. And it might sound silly when I say it, but it's transformation. They're seeking a positive change they want to experience by working with you. They want that end result. And how do I know it? It's because people buy the destination and not the plane ride. What's the destination that your client's actually trying to get to? What's the ideal result that you can help them achieve? This is the real value that you give to clients and to prospects. The third question is, how do you clearly communicate your value? If you're the greatest financial advisor in the world, but you don't know how to clearly communicate your value to your ideal prospects, then you won't be in business very long. If you can't clearly communicate your value, then really nothing else in your business matters. Many good advisors have failed because they didn't know how to communicate their value. And the best advisors are able to engage in conversation with a complete stranger. And then in two minutes, that stranger fully understands how this advisor helps people. Even better, that new contact is going to have enough curiosity curiosity and maybe excitement that they want to hear more from that advisor. The goal of your business isn't to close sales or, or whatever it might be. It's really just to start the conversation. If you're able to naturally start conversations with people, then you should have no problem attracting people and starting to work with them, having those first meetings. And then if you can communicate your value, then you should have no trouble then turning those people who are interested into clients. Then the fourth question that we must answer is how will we consistently attract and acquire new clients? This is one of the most important questions that advisors need to answer. If we can successfully answer the other three questions, but then we can't figure out this one or answer this one, then growing our business is going to be hard. And this is unfortunately the question that most advisors have the most difficulty answering. And if you look at some of the traditional ways that advisors have attracted people to them and traditional sales methods, things like seminars or luncheons, or maybe asking for referrals, or even I hate to say it, but cold calling and, and going to network events and things like that. I was never super comfortable doing those sorts of client attraction methods. And we figured out different ways to do it here at Streamline. And some of them you'll see videos on our channel here. And then I'm also going to be putting out new videos weekly talking about many of these things like what are we doing at Streamline and, and how are we attracting new people? So I've got two action items for you. But first, if this was helpful for you, please like the video. So here are the two action items. Number one is simply go through those questions again and then write down your answers. Number two, share this video or share the questions with another advisor friend and then compare your answers. Start to talk about it because really watching a video is fine and good, but it's not until you actually start to take action and think through these questions. And then it's going to start to guide your conversations even and who you're talking to and how you're talking to them. So hope this was helpful. And if you subscribe, then I'll see you in the next video. Take care.